locust doesn't know where the boundary fence is. So you can chase them onto your neighbour's place, but they'll come back. So really everyone's got to work together. Otherwise you'll think you've cleaned up all of your locust and then the neighbour's locust will come through the fence. Andrew Pittman, I'm a landholder uh, on Muckabundi, which is about uh, seven k's east of Moray as the crow flies. Well, the LLS have got the expertise to be able to tell you the best time to spray them. They will supply you the chemical and they'll supply you the information with rates and how to go about it. So everyone's responsible for controlling plague locusts, whether they're private or public land managers. It's really important to control them before they really start damaging pastures and crops. So the best time to control plague locusts is about three weeks after they hatch from the egg bed and their third instar stage banding on the ground makes for a really easy spray target when they're all together. And if you miss this opportunity and they develop further and fledge, they can reproduce again and really get out of hand. Well, I think really the landholder's role is to initially locate the plague locust, actually keep your eyes peeled, get out and about the paddocks, when you, especially when you know it's a season that could encourage locust. Time is of the essence when you see a plague locust. You've got to get onto them before they fly. So you've got to get on, you've got to treat them and you've got to contact your neighbours and make sure that they're doing the same thing and that they're keeping an eye out on their properties as well. If you suspect you've got plague locusts on your property, give the local land services a call and the biosecurity officers can come out and do a property inspection and advice on when the best time to control them are. We've also got chemical on hand that we can issue you to help with the control on your properties.